Hi there, once again, welcome to Agiotech. I'm delighted to have you back on my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a pictograph in Excel. So basically what it means is that we're going to use pictures to represent our chart. So we have names and then number of mangoes. So we realize that Jane over here is having what? Five mangoes. And you can see we have a picture representing the number of mangoes Jane is having. We have Pearl is having five as well. Kofi is having four mangoes. Set is having five. Adwa is having eight mangoes. Amanda is having three mangoes. Timothy is having eight mangoes. And then Sedem is having nine mangoes. What is going to happen is that if I update these pictures, let's say Adwa change it to what? Three mangoes and I hit enter. This will actually be updated in our picture. So you can see Adwa mango re reduced from eight to what? Three. So I'm going to show you how to create this pictograph in excel step by step with no step skip in order to get the steps you need to watch this video to the end and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos as well by turning on the notification bell so basically this is what we're going to do so if i change set them to let's see seven and i hit enter on my keyboard seven mango is going to reduce to seven as you can see it's, it's not seven mangoes so this is what we're going to do and let's see how we're going to do so this is our chart that we're going to use so i'm going to a different worksheet so this is a worksheet this is what we're going to do so we're going to start everything from scratch you can just pick any random data it could be mango or it could be just apple or carrot whatever you want to use you can use that to do this so let's look at the steps we're going to follow to create this First of all, this is the data we want to use. So what we need to do is that we select this entire data this way and then we go to the insert tab. And then what we do is that we go to our chart and then we're going to select, we're going to use a bar chart. So click on this bar chart this way. This is what we're going to use. Let me just enlarge this bar chart so you can see what exactly is going to happen over here. Okay, so this is the bar chart. In order to get our pictures, we just have to select any of the bars over here. Just right click on this chart and then go to what? Format data series. Once we click on this, it's going to give you another column over here. What we're going to do over here is that we're going to select fill and then line. Just click on that and then under fill, we're going to select one. And the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to select what? picture or texture fill so select that and it will give you option to select a picture so what you're going to do is we'll click over here on file and then you can download the picture onto your pc the picture you want to use in this case i'm going to use mango so i'll select a mango from here and then insert this if you select this it's going to give you a stretch image this way don't worry i'm going to show you in a bit how you can have your individual mangoes just as we have over here jane for you to going to update that accordingly so that's what we're going to do so the next option is that you can see over here we have stretched so we want to change that stretch to what stack and scale width so when you click on this it's going to update our picture so you can see my mangoes now are being represented accordingly we can have set them it's having nine, nine mangoes and it's showing over here but what we need to do is that we want this mango to scale and then be in a perfect size so in order to do that we will move to the next bar where we have series options series option click on that and then we have the gap width just reduce the gap width just move it to the left reduce it and then it's going to give you a perfect shape of your mango so you can see my mangoes are, are now giving me a perfect shape I've just reduced it to about six percent and i'm having perfect mangoes over here but on our chart we just have on our chart we still have one more thing to change now you can see we is starting from jane jane is at the top and then what set them is at the bottom we can update this and they have it in that order so that jane will move to the top and then set them will come to the bottom as we have over just right click on this and then you go to what format others just click on that and then just come to your left hand side this way and then under others position you can see we have categories in reverse order just select that and then you should be expecting your everything to be updated so you can see now we have gene at the top and then set them as we have in our charts being represented perfectly as we want so this is how to do 
a, pic, a pictograph in Excel. So pictures are being represented. So if Amanda having three mangoes, we can just change this to what? Let's say six mangoes and hit enter and see. So it's going to add three more mangoes. So now Amanda is having what? Six mangoes in total. Any update you do is going to reflect it. Let's try and then change it to 10 mangoes and see from four to 10 and then hit enter on a keyboard and see whether the remaining mangoes will be added. So you can see, change this and let's make it apple. So I can see, so if I make this apples and then I want to change this, I just have to follow the same process. We go to format data series and then under fill line just go and then select a different option under picture and texture fill select this one i'm going to use mangoes and then i'm going to use apple and then i'll click on apple from my list and set this i will insert this into my list and you can see the apples have been updated accordingly i've already made my adjust adjustment scaling and everything so i've just updated this and then it's giving my apples if i choose to increase or reduce address mango apple from eight to let's say five and hit enter everything will be updated for us perfectly so amanda is now having six mangoes instead of eight so basically this is how to create a pictograph in excel step by step with no st step skip leave a comment at the comment section if you want me to do any video in excel or you just feel there's something you can add to this video you can just leave it at the comment section and i'll rightly answer or attend to you thank you so much for watching this short tutorial till i come your way again remember to always visit my channel for more tutorial and more techniques in excel bye bye